harassment? He, he hey. says, in you gotta get out of here, man. We we ain't none of them guys, all right? You ain't about to come up here and cause I'm no sorry. spectacle. Call the cops. Call the cops. Did any of you see him just physically the cops. Hey, don't touch me. Get the fuck out of here. That is uncalled for. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. That's right. He gave respect and death to all you crackers, man. That's right. That's right. I want to bash your fucking head in, man. That's right. Oh, they're the young. They're the young. I want to take these babies and all you got fucking hate you devils, man. Of course, man. All you white people, you so-called white people, you the devil, all right? That's right. That white bitch is the most size gonna put you on a damn workout plan, all right? That's right. When you run it, when you run it from the judgment, all right? And all you so-called white people, you punk faggots, you going into slavery, all right? I'm right. gonna destroy you, man. Before you get any of that, get Revelation 19 to 10. And they think it's a joke, man. It's not gonna be a joke when we got a we got a, a sword and, it, and it's going across your neck, man. You're gonna get tortured too, man. That's right. You're gonna get tortured, right? Hey. Fuck you, so called white people. That's right. That's right. We hate all you crackers, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're a Moabite, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the Mo hey, the most side curse Moabites, all right? You curse, right. you're going into slavery. They, you can never enter into their congregation. That's right. Damn, damn Moabite. Man. Not racist, man. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, all that shit on camera. What's up? 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 Get the fuck out of here, man. How's it going everybody out there? Welcome back to the channel, Biblical Truth Central. I'm Brother D, back at you all with a brand new video. Um, it is officially October the 1st. We are winding down to the end of this controversial year that none of us have <laughs> could would have seen coming ever. Nobody would have ever predicted that 2020 uh, would have turned out the way that it did. Um, I had plans, family plans, vacations. Pretty sure everybody out there probably had plans as well. But apparently um, somebody else had plans too. But it is what it is. Um, you know, we are true saints, believers in Christ, those who follow the word of God. We have been looking for a time like this to come. We have been looking for these days to rise up. And now is the time. We're here. We're approaching what is to come. But fear not. For the Bible says that the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. But of love, power, and a sound mind. So don't be afraid of what you see going on today. Don't be, don't be, don't operate in fear. Don't put your head in the ground like an ostrich. You want to always keep your eyes open and your ears open. What does Brother D always say? Pray to have eyes to see, ears to hear, everything that's going on around you. Amen. I want to try to bring some more educational material to this channel. I don't necessarily consider this channel to be an end times prophecy channel. We have plenty of those on YouTube. Plenty. I mean, there's so many channels you can watch, you know, besides Biblical Truth Central that can educate you and that can teach you about the end times and things that are going to occur in the last days, Bible prophecy. Um, I do touch on it, of course, because it is the truth. And here on this channel, we're going to tell the truth, no matter what, tell the truth in love. And that's just what it is. But I, I also want people to be able to come here and to learn something that they did not know um, about things that are going on today, things that may have went on in the past that may have gone over your head, or maybe there's just a particular subject that you just can't pinpoint or put your finger on that you want to know about. I've had subscribers on this channel uh, request that I make certain videos, and I'm all for that. I'm, I, I think that's wonderful. Um, it helps the channel grow. It brings a diverse amount of content to this channel and then can perhaps shed some light on some issues that some of you may have questions about 
Uh, that's why I always encourage you all to comment on these videos. You know, don't comment just to comment. You know, you can comment on the content of the video. You can comment on a particular topic that you would like for me to cover. You can comment your thoughts and your feelings, your prayers. It doesn't matter. Um, I talked about this a couple of videos ago about the YouTube algorithm. Basically, it goes with the with the um impressions of a video with the interaction on the video uh the comments the likes all of these things matter if you're going to stand a chance in the youtube algorithm and if you don't know what what that is just look at it like the gulf of mexico like a huge ocean right just really really big full of fish i mean millions of fish in the sea and it's hard to pick one out that stands out unless there's something special about that fish. Maybe it's got to be a really fast swimming fish, maybe a really fat fish. I don't know, it's a particular color fish. It just needs to stand out. If it doesn't stand out in that sea of fish, then you're never going to stand out. <laughs> no one's gonna find you. No one's gonna be able to know that you exist. Uh, YouTube is the same way. You know, the algorithm is the ocean, and then there's thousands of users who who provide content, thousands of people who have channels. So unless there's some impressions on those channels and those videos, no one's ever going to see them, and they're never going to see the light of day. So that's why I always ask you all to like these videos, comment on these videos, and share them. And some of you have been doing so, and I thank you very much for doing so. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Um, whether you comment or whether you don't comment, God bless you all. You know, we're here to learn, to, to learn together, okay? So, in this particular video, we're going to be talking about the group, the Black Hebrew Israelites. I first heard about this group around 2013 I want to say I came to the lower January of 2012 and I first heard of the black Hebrew Israelites in 2013 I befriended a man which we're still friends today who grew up primarily Islam Muslim and he I was able to witness to him I was able to pray with him and I was able to explain salvation in Christ to him and he ended up giving his life to the Lord um, it's one of those milestones in my own personal walk with the Lord um, the first person I ever brought to salvation so he dabbled a little bit into the black Hebrew Israelites and he brought it up to me and then I looked into it and when I saw it when I saw you know videos of these individuals on street corners and they usually run in packs too like packs of about six to twelve or so and there's always like one main individual that's there um, that is the so-called leader and he would he'll have some some of his subordinates read scriptures for you <laughs> for him on his behalf well, from the points that he tries to make um, with their doctrine. I personally had a really, really big problem with the with the Black Hebrew Israelites because, you know, when you can, it doesn't take long for you to see what a person is about. You know, they always say the first thing that comes out of a person's mouth pretty much tells the story. And Maybe that's not the case with everybody, but with these particular individuals, because it's it seems to be a reoccurring thing, no matter where you are, whether you're in New York, whether you're in California, whether you're in South Florida, they all preach the same, okay? They preach the same, that the real Jews are black people. This is what they say, this is what they stand on, and that the enemy is... The Edomites. The Edomites, aka white people, like they feel that white people are literally the devil. 
the more I heard the doctrine and the words that they spoke, the more it seemed that they were promoting discrimination towards a particular race. The more it sounded like they were promoting hatred towards a particular race. The more it sounded like they were really just putting emphasis on other ethnicities as them being the true tribes of Israel and white people being demonic demons, these unhuman, unholy people that God hates. In a nutshell, they feel that white people are destined to go to hell, that they are the oppressors of the world and that they cannot be redeemed. I have heard so many hatred, so much hatred, so many hateful words come from black Hebrew Israelites that it's, it's just, it, it cannot be of God. It just can't be. And it didn't take me long to just pick it apart and to say, this is a false religion that tries to keep individuals in bondage under the law following the Torah, and really just completely omitting Christ, completely omitting what he done on the cross, as if it was something that didn't matter, as if it was something that was exclusive to a particular demographic group of individuals, and it omitted white people. So you see, I have a serious problem with that. And I know that God has a serious problem with that. And you have a lot of individuals out here who actually follow this false religion and they implement it and, and they, <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying to be serious, but they have the nerve to talk down on people and they dress like they're straight out of like the Renaissance fair celebrating Halloween. <laughs> okay. Now look. We're going to talk about Halloween this month, too, since this is the month of October. Um, I feel we're going to see some pretty um, wild stuff this month as well, but I digress. I don't want to I don't want to get sidetracked. OK, let's let's stick to the to the subject. But they, they do dress kind of weird, you know, and they scream too. Uh, the, here we go. Where, where, where is it? I, I got to have a Bible somewhere around here. I'm sure I do. Here's one. You know, they're, they're always. Like they're either on a bullhorn or they have someone screaming and they say, Thus said the Lord, you shall not go into that land. What did he say? You shall not go into that land. I don't think they heard you. You shall not go into that land. You heard the brother, he said, you shall not go in that land. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I kid you not. That is what they do on these videos. They make, I'm gonna use the word fool, but they make buffoons of themselves. They dress weird, they scream and yell, and they really think people are just sitting there listening to them like you have got to be a lost person really seeking the uh, attention really seeking some answers or or something to to fill a void in your life if you're gonna sit up there and listen to grown men scream and yell and, and be racist on the corner of uh, uh in, in the city downtown or or whatever because that's all they are racist at the end of the day they are racist period point blank now let's let's try to get a little bit more serious here because I, I i say that because it's it's hard for me to take the black hebrew israelite movement serious it's really hard for me to do that because it's just a joke to think that you feel that you have an automatic ticket into heaven based on the color of your skin like oh i'm black 
so I automatically go to heaven. I'm Latino. I automatically, I automatically go to heaven. I'll just completely forget about holy living. Just completely forget about repentance. Just completely forget about any of that stuff, right? But just the fact that you are a Jew and you are born automatically into the family because of your fam, because of your, the color of your skin, you get to go to heaven. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible says that ye must be born, John 3, the first um, couple of verses, you must be born again. When, when Jesus talked to Nicodemus, Nicodemus asked him, what do I have to do to go to heaven? Jesus said, ye must be born again. And then Nicodemus said, what, what I got to go back to my mother's womb? Is that what you're trying to say, Lord? Jesus said, no, no, no. You must be born again of the spirit. Unless you were born of the spirit and water, you cannot see heaven. Of course, this went over Nicodemus' head and it went over the head of everybody out there. But of course, when the, the finished work of Christ was fulfilled on the cross, it, it was apparent what he meant. That there needed to be a sacrifice for sin if you were going to go to heaven. And that perfect sacrifice is Jesus Christ. Jesus ain't say, oh, you must be black. To go to heaven. <laughs> if you're white, <laughs> you can forget it. You're damned to hell. That's not what he said. These black Hebrew Israelites spewing hate, spewing lies, trying to make it seem like if you're white that you just cursed, trying to make it seem like if you're white that you don't stand a chance to go to heaven, that you're irredeemable. That's that's just a horrible thing to teach. Horrible. And the people who follow the black Hebrew Israelites. You know, they're deceived. And those who teach this um, this false doctrine are wicked. It is a damnable heresy, her heretic, I'll say, doctrine. Because it's, it's, it's based on hatred and discrimination. And if you think that there's some truth behind it, you're sadly mistaken. And, and I'm going to say this for the record. Some people truly believe that the true Jews or true Hebrews are black people. I'm not here to say that they are. I'm not here to say that they're not. But I, I am here to say that it does not matter. It is not important. It is irrelevant. Because even if it was true, you are not better than anybody else, especially if you're white, Latino, you're Indian, and you've come to Christ. It doesn't matter whether you are a real Jew. God is not going to just show you favor because you're a real Jew. I mean, did we not read most of the Old Testament here as to how harshly God dealt with the house of Israel when they were disobedient? Like, you really think he's going to do favors for you? In the, in the New Testament, he clearly said, you know what? You know, since the Jews have rejected my free gift through my son, I'm going to turn my attention to the Gentiles. Those who were not Jews. Those who were not uh, originally born into Israel, but those of us who were on the outside, the Lord has adopted us into the family through the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So why would people put emphasis on the color of your skin? Like it's going to win you some favor. You're God. You're black, so I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make sure that you get everything that you need in this life, that you want in this life. And the white people, man, they just, they just don't stand a chance. I'm going to put them under my feet. I don't care whether they accepted my son. They're irredeemable. That's how they think. That's how they think. If you ask a single I mean, hardcore, truly black Hebrew Israelite. If you ask them, can a white person be saved? They will flat out tell you no. Straight up, no. 
They cannot be saved. They are damned. If you think that's true, you are sadly mistaken. And, and you need to you need to do this. This is what you need. You need to do a 180 if that's what you believe. Acts 319. You need to do a 180 of your lifestyle. You need to turn around. You know what that means? You need to repent. You need to repent. If that's what you think. If you believe that to be true. That's not true at all. The Bible tells us that there is no, there's not male, not female, not Jew, not Greek, not, not bond nor free. But everybody is the same in Christ Jesus. Everybody is a part of the body of Christ. God don't care about what color you are. God doesn't discriminate. God does not have favor. He doesn't play the game of favoritism. Uh, the Bible says that he's not a respecter of persons. If he's not a respecter of persons, what the heck makes you believe that the color of your skin is going to uh, win favor in his eyes? Black Hebrew Israelite? What puts you above white people? What puts you above Latinos or anybody else? What puts you above anybody? We're a part of the lost tribe of, of, of Judah, Israel. You know, we're the tribe of Judah. We're the we're of the tribe the, the tribe of um of Dan. We're of the tribe of Reuben. You know, and they did. We're gonna talk about this because this video is gonna be one of them long videos. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now. Okay, so we, we got a lot to talk about. You know, this is to me. I'm just warming up. <laughs> this is just the intro. Okay. So let's let's talk about some some key points to this movement. I've, I've given you my thoughts on the movement, but let's let's actually get into some key points about the black Hebrew Israelites. I got notes here and I'm going to be reading off of them as we go. And we're just going to break it down one by one, step by step. So just get ready. Let's, let's get into this, okay? Now, again, before we get into this, always pray to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Maybe it's somebody that's on the fence that believes in this false doctrine. Um, I just ask you to do the research on your own, pray for discernment, and let the Lord reveal to you what the true truth is, okay? So some key points to the black Hebrew Israelites. Black Hebrew Israelites are not the same as black Jews or Jews of color. Not all black Hebrew Israelite organizations are anti-symptomatic or extremists. Now, I don't know if I agree with that. Because from what I've seen over the last six to seven years, I have yet to find a black Hebrew Israelite group that does not discriminate against white people. And if you are discriminating against a single nation of individuals, you are considered to be a racist. And racism is a sin. Always remember that. Racism is a sin. The Bible tells us that we are to love one another. Care for one another. Be there for one another. Not discriminate. And if you are discriminating against a single race, how can you love your brother as you love thyself? Think about that for a second. Let's continue. The black Hebrew Israelite movement is divided into organizations and sects that operate semi-independently across the United States. The black Hebrew Israelites believe that they are the true Israelites and that the 12 tribes of Israel are the people of color. Popular activities include street teaching and public speaking events. Extremists sect heavily rely on social media to spread information and coordinate activity. You can go on several black Hebrew Israelite websites and, and they're all out there. I mean, you, you can't miss it. I mean, just type in, you know, black Hebrew Israelites or uh, the tribe of Judah, Ben Shemai or you know, they, they, that's another thing. They, they go a step further and they change their names to Ben Shemar, Israel, you know, four names or whatnot. 
just to make themselves exclusive, just to make themselves sound holier than now, just to make themselves sound special. I told you, God is not a respecter of persons. You can you can name yourself Israel. You can name yourself Judea. Heck, you can name yourself Jesus. And it's not going to change anything with how the Lord feels about you. Okay? You can, you can do whatever. You can blow a shafar. You can cover your head. And you can do all kind of stuff. Them works don't mean anything to the Lord. The Bible says that our works are like filthy rags to the Lord. So don't you don't sit up here thinking that your much doing and your extra is gonna win you brownie points with the Lord. Are you saved? Ooh, ooh, that's that's the real question. Are you saved? Do you have the blood of Christ on you? Has he covered your sins? Think about that for a second. Let's get more into the background of the black Hebrew Israelites. The black Hebrew Israelites, also considered BHI movement, is a fringe religious movement that rejects widely accepted definitions of Judaism and asserts that people of color are the true children of Israel. Followers who are referred to as black Hebrews or Hebrew Israelites believe that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. It should be noted that not all BHI adherents include Native American populations in the 12 tribes. But they all agree that white people are conventionally accepted Jews are not members of the tribes. This is a departure from the mainstream understanding of the 12 tribes as reference to Jacob's 12 sons, who each represent a different genealogical thread of Jewish population. Similar inheritors of white supremacist Christian identity movement also claim to be members of the lost tribe of Israel. Black Hebrew Israelites are not Jews and black Jews are not the same as black Hebrew Israelites. Black Jews and Jews of color are genuine members of the Jewish faith. Black Hebrew Israelites identify specifically with the biblical Israelites and consider Judaism, Christianity, and Islam to be false religions. Did you hear that? The black Hebrew Israelites reject Christianity. So that, that, that right there should tell you all you need to know. We don't even have to continue. They reject Christianity. I mean, let that sink in for a second. Let's continue. Many BHI teachers claim that Jews and other white people forced black individuals into other religions. Extreme factions believe white Jews are perpetrating identity theft. Black Hebrew Israelites believe that they are members of the 12 tribes based on biblical interpretation that teaches that their population will be spread across the globe, which they tie into the transatlantic slave trade. BHI presents slavery, racism, incarceration, and other social ill and divine punishments for disobedience that can only be cured through the BHI ideology. Now, they're referring to, I believe it's Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's a long chapter. It talks about the blessings and the curses that can occur uh, that God basically puts on the, the children of Israel. And a lot of the doctrine that the black Hebrew Israelites, you know, depend on comes out of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Um, whenever you get a chance on your own time, you know, go ahead and, and read that for yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
But let's go over the um the so-called 12 tribes of Israel and the demographic of different people that it's connected to. The tribe of Judah is called the American Blacks. The tribe of Benjamin is West Indian Blacks. The tribe of Levi are Haitians. The tribe of Ephraim are the Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Manasseh are the Cubans. The tribe of Simeon are the Dominicans. The tribe of Zebulun are the, are the Panama Mayans. The tribe of Gad are the Native American Indians. The tribe of Reuben are the Seminole Indians. The tribe of Asher are the tribe of the tribe of Asher are the Colombians. The tribe of Issachar are the Mexicans or Aztecs. The tribe of Neptali is Argentina or Chile. Now, what again, whether or not this is true or whether it's false is irrelevant. As you can see, all of these individual all of these nations that I named uh, did not include any type of Europe people of European descent or, or white people would you say which pretty much clearly shows that the black Hebrew Israelites reject uh, white people being included into to the plan of God thus augmenting them making them look like there's some devils I mean over the years and decades you know we've heard terms like white devil um, um, uh, and you know excuse me but blue-eyed white devil we've heard people say things like that and I just think that's just horrible you know really 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 bad to say really racist hardcore racist like I don't understand how you can follow something like this and not think that it's it's okay and think that it's it's not racist how could you I don't understand that you are completely deceived if you believe that this is okay in the eyes of the Lord okay so again whether this is true these connections to the 12 tribes of Israel it's irrelevant it's it's completely irrelevant because black Hebrew Israelites as I stated a few minutes ago reject Christianity and if they reject Christianity why are we even having this conversation some people just want something to cling to so that they can call themselves right, so that they can call themselves spiritual, so they can call themselves something, want to be a part of something. And let me tell you something about the black Hebrew Israelites. They're wicked. I've heard them use profanity. I've heard them make fun of people. I've heard them um, just use all kind of racial slurs because they feel like they can, because they think that God just hates white people so that they can hate them too. What God do they serve? is an even bigger question. Let's think about that for a minute. What God promotes self-absorption? What God promotes hatred? What God promotes discrimination? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 do, we, do, we, do we see where this is going? It's not hard to tell. Let's keep learning about these Hebrew Israelites. Many BHI teachings uses verses from the book of Deuteronomy, the fifth book of the Torah, and the King James Bible to tell the history of Israelites from the Old Testament, and they give a biblical explanation for the transatlantic slave trade. Teachings assert that the Israelites were warned of the repercussions for breaking the commandments but did not abide, resulting in his enslavement as punishment and another race inhabiting Israel in their place. Preachers use Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 through 68 to encourage individuals to embrace their true title as God's chosen children or to continue to suffer in society as their ancestors have is it me 
or is the black Hebrew Israelites holding a particular grudge against our European brothers and sisters out there because of the events that happened with the transatlantic slave trade. Just maybe, maybe, that's why there's so much hatred for white people from these Hebrew Israelites. I'm gonna call it like I see it. It is hatred. There is no other way to describe the way that they speak against white people. There's just no way that it's not hatred and racism. And since we're talking about the subject of slavery, what about all of the people that were slaves that were not African American? If you look throughout history, every demographic of nations were slaves at some point. White people were slaves. Asian people were slaves. Obviously, black people were slaves. And if you really do your research in some Places white people were even slaves to black people But yet um, uh, This this almost reminds me of Like the Ku Klux Klan in a sense I mean heck both <laughs> the Hebrew Israelites and the Klan dress up like idiots and the Klan believes that white people or you no, know, the Aryan race is superior, and that black people are are monkey or descendants of monkeys, and that they're not chosen people, and that if you have blue eyes and blonde hair and fair skin, um, the Lord is gonna have favor upon you. That's all the black Hebrew Israelite doctrine is. It's just the opposite of the clan. That's what it is. That's not how I see it. Discrimination, racism, again, which is a sin. But I digress. Let's continue. BHI in Harris rejects all images of a white Jesus and claims that these images are further attempts to steal the Israelites' identity. In Herod's have identified a Bible passage they believe shows Jesus was a black man. Revelation 1, verse 15 of the King James Bible. Quote, And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. What does that have to do with being black? I, you know... People will twist and cherry pick verses to fit their doctrine and try to put some put some base behind it, put some soul behind it and sound convincing just to just to make people believe what it is they're saying is true. I don't I'm not putting it, I'm not connecting the dots. What does this have to do with somebody being black? Just because your feet are burnt like a furnace. Makes no sense to me. Let's continue. The description of Jesus' feet as dark and burnt is frequently cited as proof that deceptions of Jesus as white are misinterpretations. Some preachers assert that accepting the true biblical image of Christ as he described as not the new Jesus taught by Christianity is a step towards claiming one's identity. Let me stop right there for a second. First of all, Christianity does not promote Jesus as being white. It doesn't. They're making the serious mistake of cross-referencing Catholicism, which does promote a white Jesus, it does. A couple of, a week or two ago, I made a video exposing the, these false images of Christ. Now, personally, I do not believe that Jesus was white. 
I think that the mass majority of people who believe the Bible, who read it for themselves, believe that he was not white. But I'm not going to sit up here and say that he was black either. What I will say is that it doesn't matter. And that if God truly wanted it to be something that we put emphasis on, if he truly wanted it to be something that he wanted to be common knowledge, then we would know. It would not be a mystery. Is Jesus white? Is he black? Who cares at the end of the day? Because it does not change anything. Because he still is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man shall come to the Father except through him. Nothing's going to change that. It don't matter if he is as white as this Bible. Or if he is as black as my mouse pad. It does not matter. I don't care. Because you got some people out here who are black. Who openly will not come to Christianity. Because they hear false teachings like this that convince them that Jesus is white and then they have that that they hold they hold the um the transatlantic slave trade and um the the slavery and all of that that stuff right there they hold on to these things and they reject Christ because somebody told them that the lord was white a lot of blacks reject christianity because of that you know, I, 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 this goes deep. So deep. Let's continue. In extremist sex, it is believed that Jesus the Messiah will only save Israel or Israelites. More false teachings. White people and white Jews are commonly referred to as Edomites. Or the descendants of Esau and the Bible's enemies, Jacob, Israel. They are described as hairy and ugly. And some teach BHI believes that the Edomites will become slaves in heaven. Oh my gosh. Can somebody show me that in here? Like, you can't make this stuff up. White people gonna be will be slaves in, in heaven. Says who? Where? In the 66 books do you see something that teaches something so radical? But these are the black Hebrew Israelites. This is what they think. This is how they feel. This is what they teach. Racism. Hatred towards our white brothers and sisters in Christ. It's sickening. Let's continue. BHI celebrations of Passover and its understanding of symbols like the Star of David are based on BHI biblical interpretations and not mainstream Judaism. Christian holidays are considered pagan or devil celebrations as Thanksgiving and other non-denominational holidays. Well, I agree with that. BHI inherits use ancient and manipulate variations of Hebrew rather than accepted versions. Keyword there is manipulated people. Y is heavily used and other vowels are eliminated. I, individual groups, favor different variations, but all refer to God as Jesus or as Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahweh, spelled with capital Y-H-W-H, or Yahweh, or rejection spellings or pronunciations of mainstream Judaism. That is another thing about the black Hebrew Israelites. They over complicate things to a degree that they can't even agree on some of them say don't say jesus his name was yeshua no it's not his name was yahuwah no his name was yahuwah y'all can't even agree on what messiah's name is 
Why not just keep it simple? Jesus. Some people don't want to hear that. Some people don't want to accept that. If you don't want to accept that, then you want to call him by his Hebrew name, Yeshua. By all means, go ahead. But let me tell you something. God looks at the heart. If you're saying Jesus, don't you think for one second that he doesn't know who you're talking about and who you're talking to. And if you don't refer to him as Yeshua, it's not like he's going to close his ears up to you. Um, Jesus, save me. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Mm -hmm. You didn't say my name correctly. <laughs> say Yeshua and I'll save you. That's not in the Bible. And, and some of that stuff comes from the, um, what's that? Hebrew Roots Movement, too. That's a, that's, oh, Lord. We're just, we're just going to leave that alone. Stick, stick to this. Do not get trapped into these other beliefs. Black Hebrew Israelites, the Hebrew Roots Movement. Oh, please don't get wrapped up in that. So many people have fallen away from the faith because of the hatred and the confusion that all of that stuff teaches. Stick to the Bible. I had a subscriber write a comment on the video yesterday and said, you know, sometimes I feel like it's best. For you to just read the word of God for yourself instead of watching videos, instead of watching preachers and stuff. And I couldn't agree more. Stick to the Bible above all because man is flawed. There's some great men of God out there, but man is flawed. Man has the capability of deceiving people without even trying. Maybe, maybe unknowingly. They deceive people. That's why we need to stick to the Bible above all. Pray. Let the Lord be your teacher. God said he'll teach you. He said he will show you great and mighty things that you know not. He is our great teacher. Everybody who claims to be a pastor and a preacher is supposed to be led by the Spirit of God. The same Spirit that resides in me and the same Spirit that resides in you if you are saved. Amen? Let's wrap this up. BHI's teachings become explicitly hateful when coupled with racial sobriety and accusations against white individuals and specific hatred towards the Jewish community. Extremist black Hebrew Israelites assert that white people are agents of Satan. Jews are liars and false worshippers of God. And blacks are radically superior and only the true chosen people. Some extremist leaders preach that only the true descendants of the 12 tribes, blacks, Hispanics, native Indians, based on their beliefs, will be allowed into heaven and that God will permit them to rule over all other races. Leaders and street preachers teach and they push homophobic, transphobic, sexist belief, including referring to the LGBTQ community as demonic and not loved by God. Let's stop right there. Where's the gospel? Where is the gospel in all of this? Where? I have yet to see or hear a preacher who supports this garbage mention anything about the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's all bondage under the law discrimination. You're saying white people are going to be slaves in heaven. You're saying that how did, first of all, again, how is it you can say that there the white people are going to be slaves in heaven, but then there are others who teach in the black Hebrew Israelites that white people are not even going to go to heaven and that only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to go to heaven. Get your doctrine, doctrine straight, please. Which one is it? Are they going to heaven? And be slaves or they can't go to heaven and they just damn to go to hell. Which one is he? That's the problem with this. They can't even agree. Oh, you know, with, 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 with each other's doctrine. If you are a part of something and you can't agree on something like that, then you need to come out of it. Because it's false. Completely false. But I've yet to hear the gospel. There's no good news here. It's all hatred. Let's continue. 
Extremist sect represent a vocal section of larger BHI movements, just as all BHI inherits are extremists. Not all extremist sect preach the same level of hatred. The most active extremist sect have hardened their messages for decades or operations. The anti cinematic beliefs that some express include claims that Jews have no right to Israel as a homeland, contentions that Israel will not fulfill the fruit until the Israelites' accusations that Jews purposely enslave black individuals to steal their identities and assertions that Jews are imposters or satanic. Wow. You know, there's so much more to this to this movement because that's what it is. Um, uh, honestly, the, the Black Hebrew Israelites are not really uh, that that big of a, a threat. <laughs> to be honest, they're not. They are a small group of individuals, minorities, we'll say. And you have to say that because they're primarily black and they have managed to brainwash some Latinos and some Native Americans, you know, so they can feel special and so they can feel like they're chosen by God. You know, let me let me let me state this and then I'm gonna end this video. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're saved, which means that you are a child of God, regardless of your skin color, regardless of where you're from, regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, God loves you and has adopted you into his family. Do not let these man-made religions and doctrines make you feel inferior because it is not the truth. The black Hebrew Israelites have openly said that they reject Christianity. And if they reject Christianity, they have rejected the gospel. And if they have rejected the gospel, they have ultimately rejected Jesus Christ. It is a shame, to be honest with you, that people are actually falling for this. And this embarrassment of a group, this it basically what how I would sum up the black Hebrew Israelites, they're just they're they're a spawn of false religion that has come out of the land of Canaan. They're a spawn of a, a twisted version of Judaism, even though they rejected paganism. It's just satanic. It's a, it's a mixture of a, of a whole bunch of things. There's a lot of pride involved as well, which ultimately sums this up to be completely demonic and evil. I, in no way, shape, or form, will ever support the black Hebrew Israelites as long as you continue to push hatred towards other cultures. White people have been very good to me. I have great neighbors that are white. I had great teachers in my years of school that were white. I've had great people who have helped me throughout my life who were white. You expect me to believe this false doctrine that white people are just evil demons? Damn the hell? That's wicked. And you need to repent. Come out of that nonsense. Come out of that foolishness. And stop trying to act like that people are more superior than others based on this, the, your skin color. Doesn't make you any better than anybody else. Doesn't put you above anybody else. We are all one in Christ. Those who follow this false teaching are going to go straight to hell. Those who are preaching this and spewing this hate are going to go straight to hell. Unless they repent.
unless they turn from their sins and their wicked ways and get saved by the blood of Christ. Don't fall for the black Hebrew Israelite doctrine. It's evil, it's wicked, and it's from Satan. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to share this video with somebody out there. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. If it helped you, please comment. Please like this video. And subscribe to this channel if you're new. We have more content to come. Remember to keep your eyes on Christ. Stay praying. Stay in the word. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace. We, we ain't none of them guys, all right? You ain't about to come up here and cause I'm no sorry. spectacle. I'm call the sorry. cops. Did, call did the cops. Did any of you call see him just physically yeah, yeah. assaulted? Call the cops. Don't touch me. Hey, that is uncalled for. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. That's right. You gave respect and death to all you crackers, man. That's right. That's right. I want to bash your fucking head in, man. That's right. Oh, they be young. They be young. I want to take these babies and I fucking hate you devils, man. It's worse, man. All you white people, you so-called white people, you the devil, all right? That's right. Fat white bitches, the most size gonna put you on a damn workout plan, all right? That's right. When you run it, when you run it from the judgment, all right? And all you so-called white people, you punk faggots, you going into slavery, all right? I'm right. gonna destroy you, man. Before you get any of that, get Revelation 19 to 10. If they think it's a joke, man, it's not gonna be a joke when we got a we got a, a sword and, it, and it's going across your neck, man. You're gonna get tortured too, man. That's right. You're gonna get tortured, right? right. Fuck you, so called white people. That's right. That's right. We hate all you crackers, man. That's right. That's right. And you're a Moabite, man. Yeah. And the both hey, the most side curse Moabites, all right? You curse, right. you're going into slavery, man. You can never enter into the congregation. That's right. Damn, damn Moabite, man. Not racist, man. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey all that shit on camera. What's up? What's up? Back up. Get the fuck out of here!